Oh yeah, let's actually get this one sorted. So, one there. I have no idea where the I have no idea where the walk is on that thing. Every single time. I'm just pressing jump and hoping it enters me, because I don't get how it works. Also I don't know how these blocks work, because sometimes the bullets can pass through them and sometimes they can't. Yeah, like I see it there. Weird. Yeah, huh. I guess if the block isn't on screen, it doesn't count as a block. Alright, fine. Yeah, 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 you're a loud asshole, you all know already. We got it. Don't need to keep proving the point, buddy. Hey, pigeon. Hey, Bram. Let's we'll see how things go today. Hopefully I don't get softlocked. That'll be cool. Hey, it's darker. I don't really have much hope for Conquer the Blow game still, because, like, I've only done a couple of playthroughs of it, and... still kind of tired from last week. But, eh, maybe we are lucky. Like that second permanent run that we had last time. Yeah, I saw it in Cosmos Discord, don't worry. A 500 floor Toho fan game. I don't know what that means, and honestly, I'm not sure if I want to know. Because that sounds insane. But yeah, we'll do the usual, like we did with Channel 100 Trials. I'll do one playthrough of this, regardless of how many yes it is. Nice. And then we'll be over to Permanent Swan and see if I can get that sorted as well and never have to think about that game again. You can never tell what the edge of that is. Get check restarts every 25 floors. Okay. That still sounds hard. <laughs> 25 floors of not dying is still pretty tough. I remember trying to do one life in very hard mode and it was very much like that, so yeah. That's still kind of difficult. And that's a lot of 25 floors. It was 500 over 25. What was on top? 20? So you get 20 saves. There are 20 checkpoints. I like with that. What exactly does a 500 floor Toho fan game mean anyway? Is it like Pokemon Dun Mystery Dungeon type 500 floors or platforming 500 floors? I don't know. I'm not really sure how it works. Conquer the blow game type. So platforming type. I did it again. As soon as I dropped, it's like, ah, oh, yeah, I've screwed up, haven't I? Cool. Land first. Wow, I've done it. Cool. God damn it, warps. I don't understand how that crap works. I'm gonna write down the timestamp for this actually. What is it? 645. Okay. And then at some point I'm gonna ask Adam how the hell that bug works because he clearly understands things if you can explain the the Emperor bug in K3. Bollocks. Ah, stupid game. Hey Steven, thanks very much. Don't believe there's any bosses. I mean, that wouldn't surprise me. Making 500 floors is probably pretty exhausting just making 500 floors.
There are gremlins in the code base. No, no, we don't call them gremlins, pass, we call them solids. Actually, I'm pretty sure that's on the warp, not the, the solid block anyway, so... Oh, whoops. Also, I'm fairly certain code gremlins are supposed to be when you're the one coding things. And in this case, I'm not the one coding the things, I'm just the one playing the things that were coded by somebody else. I'm not entirely sure that's quite how the situation goes. I was actually wondering if he even looped the song. Wow, okay. I guess if you're fast enough, you can beat the song loop out here. That's kind of cool. I'm definitely not going to be, but if you were... I was just curious if the blocks went all the way across or not. I figured they would. Oops. As an actual thousand floor dungeon? What the hell? The only thing I can think of is like, Challenge Cameron, which was supposed to be a thousand floors, but ended at 200. As far as I was told, it's like meant to be 200 floors, it would loop around five times, but get harder each time. And I guess it was too hard to like buff it or something? I don't know. The fact that it's still 200 floors is honestly very impressive. <laughs> I love that horn sound. I do really like that horn sound, man. I never get tired of that one. Just a good sound effect. I mean, am I really gonna get started on every single one of these? <laughs> Fine. I'm really gonna get started on every single one of those, huh? Well, don't screw me. I, I think at some point I'd remember this transition as well. But no. Nope, not yet. <laughs> like, I always double jump at the start of the screen now. The one time I didn't was, I think, when I was playing casually. And that was it. That was the one time I didn't double jump for that. Every other time it's been, oh no, spikes! Oh no, fruit. Ah. I feel like I'm playing Hyrule Warriors listening to this song, and I know that's kind of a silly association, but it is what it is. I've played more Hyrule Warriors than I've played Legend of Zelda, so... I actually forgot about that, I was just going to be jumping across because I can. definitely playing this early game way too fast at the moment. I'm just kind of going for it on a lot of this. But at the same time, I'm not too worried about this attempt. It'll be whatever it is. There you go. I did that better this time by actually jumping. Cool. All right. Oh, oh no, a bonk. Whatever will I do? Ooh. Yeah, definitely playing it a little too fast in a lot of cases here. But at the same time, eh, it's probably not going to be like less than five anyway. Considering last time was like, what, five death, uh, seven deaths up until the, the final boss rush section. And it was eventually another four deaths on the boss rush section, but I feel like if I'm playing properly, I wouldn't die to the bosses. Thanks, Lav. Yep. 
Yeah, I feel like if I was playing properly in Cared, then I wouldn't... I wouldn't die to the bosses at the end, but who knows at this point, considering... Buddy! <laughs> yeah, this is a 100 floor game. That's what the score is going to be about. I love it. But time-wise, because obviously 100 floor games still vary a lot as well, I'm pretty sure this is like 40 minutes or something, compared to Conquer Blow Game 1 and 2, which are like 20 each. The end half of this game takes a very long time. Like the first 75 floors are about normal, I'd say, and then like the last 25 plus take quite a bit longer than most games. Ah, oh, I missed the cycle. Well, whatever. Excuse me? On this game, though? What is up with my PC sometimes? That was a weird one. Of all the games to freeze on. Okay. Sure, I guess. Like, I've had freezes like that before, but I wasn't expecting it in a game like this one. Because, you know, it's Conquer the Blow game. Like, there's nothing here. It's like one of the lightest games you could possibly get. And yet it still managed to freeze up on hitting the save somehow. I- alright, fine. Well, this is an interesting one. Everything else I can shut down? Not really, no. Hmm. Strange. Alright, fine, whatever. We did choose the good songs. Looks like... Not even in the slightest. Not really, no. I'm just gonna wait on these cycles. I don't know what the fast cycle is, and you know what? That's fine with me. I am okay with taking my sweet time. And by that I mean I'll take my sweet time and then die in the 70s like last time probably anyway. Because I think the last playthrough didn't die until like the 70s or something. Is like, I don't know, I don't think the first death was a gate. I think the second death was a gate. I don't remember what the first death was. Obligatory button press again. You can't just not press the buttons and conquer the blow game. It's just required. <laughs> Yay, did a gate. Yeah, I think I did this deathless up to this deathless last time as well. Alright. Alright, well, <laughs> I was just trying to be close to make this bonds decent, and then that angle kind of sucked, so... Oops. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> kind of unnecessary dodge there. Okay, so I do still only have four points.
There we go. It really takes about a full song loop to beat him. Man. Such a long time. Why does he have so much health? Run 360, man, exactly. The scariest robot in the world. Random directions. Who knows where the robot's going to go? And by robot, we mean fruit and possibly rockets. I don't know why, but the end of that floor always worries me on 52. Like, I really just don't trust my jumps with those fruit. How many small dumb things there are in this game with like the fruit? Oh, with the, the fruit, the buttons even. I think I said last time I was worried about dying in the 50s, and I think I did prove that point. I'm fairly certain my first death was here somewhere, but I don't remember where exactly. Well, that was unnecessary. <laughs> cool. Fruit and the rockets aren't robots. I guess that's true. There's no proof that the fruit aren't robots. This isn't just one of Wily's long-term cons. Like, there's still fruit. How do we know the fish aren't robots? Like, I've seen Dr. Robotnik before. He makes robots out of anything. Fish can be robots, wasps can be robots. Yeah, fruit man, exactly. The lesser known Wily robot. I wonder if there's a setup for that thing. Always wonder if there's a, like a setup for the, the three fruits in the bottom here, because I feel like that has to be, right? For a cycle like that. It honestly isn't. That's the best thing. Like, I don't know how they do that for a, a Mega Man boss, but I can sure see them doing it. Like, of all the- like, considering all the robots they've got, they've got one that's based on napalm. Like, they've got one that's just wood. I think you can do a fruit robot. I wouldn't be surprised they already have a fruit robot, and I'm just not aware of it, because there's so many of them. Google Fruit Man quickly. <laughs> Cut Man. Oh my god, yeah, Cut Man. That's a good point, too. That's a much better one. Like, wood actually makes more sense than, you know, fruit. Like, I can see that one at least. Cut Man is, yeah. Oh, yeah, actually, no, yeah, there's one guy that's just based on being quick. There's a Quick Man, isn't there? There was a Flash Man in Mega Man Battle Network. I remember that. I don't know which ones are Mega Man Battle Network and which ones are, you know, the official series, so... I'm sure there was a, like, a... Crash Man. <laughs> With a better name, but I can't remember what it was, so... I'm just gonna call him Trash Man. <laughs> I know there was a Trash Man, but that was Cracker wearing garbage cans on his hands, so... That one was a little different. There's a Hard Man? Really? Huh. Actually, I guess there is Gutsman too, isn't there? That's a popular one too. Hard oh, man. God, what a name. Like, it makes sense, but at the same time, you hear the name and you feel sorry for him. <laughs> you know? But there are some names that you hear and you think, oh, his parents had some poor decisions. That's a shame. Is Shaftman actually a thing? <laughs> I can't say I've heard of that one, but... Like I said, there's probably a lot that I don't know. Don't think so. Yeah, I didn't think so. I don't even know if it is, honestly, Flav.
Like, I think they both could be done well as actual concepts. As far as the names go, they're both kind of bad. Yeah, I'll just play this level and say that's fine. I know I died in this stage somewhere, so... I know I died to a gate. Oh yeah, this gate actually. This was the gate I died to. Because I was nervous or something for some reason, I don't know why. Cool. I still felt like I nearly screwed that up there. Gates are actually hard. Like when you're playing a game on Impossible, gates are actually quite the challenge. Crap. Yeah, okay. <laughs> as soon as I did that drop, I knew I'd made poor decisions. Oh dear. Okay. I said I was playing too fast on this. I said I was playing way too quickly. And yet, of course, the thing I play slow on is this. Yeah, okay, well, whatever. I haven't died yet, so that's nice. Wait for the fruit. Thanks, Anxious, appreciate it. I feel like you could, like, go under the bat, but I'm not sure, so I'm just gonna play it slow just to be sure. We're not gonna die at the end of here this time. Cool, I double jumped earlier. Let's go. Oh dear. Cool. Oh, I hate that I died at the end of that one. That was a sad time last time. Well, that's two deaths cut off from the early game. That's nice. Yay, Deathless PB. Obviously, the end floors are the hard ones, though, so we'll see how this goes. Oh yeah, five minute long cutscene where she just talks to me like, Oh yeah, no, oh no, ah, now I'm gonna make your face, ha! Ah. Ooh! Oh no, I messed up, now you're down in the basement with her! Ah. I don't, I don't know what they're saying. <laughs> no, itadaki mas. Dan. <laughs> I don't know, man. This whole boss feel is pointless, so... Hello! You're going to proceed to do nothing to me now. Ah, uh, this is a 100 floor game, yeah. It's Conquer the Blow game, so you know, it's kind of the origin of that. Oh no, she's slowly advancing towards my general direction. Ah. Uh, hold on while well, I have to proceed to wait because I can't see the screen. I always forget that I go down on this actually. Oh, I can't go up there, that's five blocks. Yeah, I saw that that game got delayed. It doesn't mean anything to me though, because I don't actually know what it even is, so... Ducks for people that care, I guess, but... I mean, it gives it more time to be better, so that's always good. Game being delayed just means it's got more opportunity to be a better game, so... I went way too early there. Yay. Hey. It is more than 100 Sanctus. Like, this would be the finale of Conquer the Blow Game 3, so yeah, there, there's something special that goes on at the end. But I was saying it's a 100 floor type game, so... Technically none of the Conquer the Blow Game games are 100 floors. I think one was like 101, maybe 102, but like the last two floors are free, so... I don't remember what Conquer the Blow Game 2 was like. And Conquer the Blow Game 3 has got something very special going on, so, yeah. Yeah, I just said it was a 100 floor type game. I'm not taking- I'm not skipping the saves on this. Because that's the important part. Like, it doesn't go as far as Nang, for example, and that's why I'm not really- I didn't really bother specifying. It's not like, it's a 100 floor game, by the way, it's actually 180, by the way, it's actually double. 
<laughs> it's not that much more, but it is a bit more. However, the platforming part is still why this game feels insane to me as like an impossible mode thing. Not that the end is free or anything, but... It would definitely be very scary if you're on an impossible mode run. And go for the corner. I mean, I'm assuming whatever corner it was was unrequired, so yeah, no. I'm not doing any corners in this. The, the point is to not die. I still don't know how to do 80 well. Every time I do this, it's just like, I don't know how these fruit work. So I'm just kind of half assing it when I'm going through. I guess I wasted in a better spot this time, that was nice. Hey, I didn't go too early, let's go. And I know I rushed on one of the later floors earlier. I own my previous attempt as well, on one of these floors. But I didn't want to have to wait for the scythe, so I guess I'll avoid that this time. That would be cool. This wasn't the one I went fast for last time. I know where the scythe was last time. It was something in the bottom left. But I don't remember where it was. I'll just wait. Get it out of the way. Oh. It's the scariest thing. Probably shouldn't have rushed. Nope. Don't trust that fruit on the side and my skills there. Scary. Yeah, this was the one I rushed actually. Yeah, this is the one. I rushed the side from the bottom left because I couldn't tell and then I died to the the moving spike because I thought it would stop sooner. Ah, I'll just wait again. Yeah, because I thought the spike would stop at the top of the block so I didn't think it would stop on the ceiling. So I died there. Yay. Not the death ruled out. That's nice. <laughs> Shout outs to this screen. I'm pretty sure that's safe, but just to be sure. The button is just useless there. Like, that's one button I won't go for. Just to be sure. Like, it's a very minor risk there, but still. Safe. Eh, not really, no. Thankfully, it's pretty slow, so it's not too bad. Oh. But the scariest part is genuinely just trying to find a good place to wait on some of these. Just to be actually sure that you're not going to die. While well, there's also moving things going on, you know? Waiting the stage. So this is a big part in why the second half of this game takes longer than the first half. Oh. I actually get worried on every gate in this game. Oh. Didn't think it actually stopped me. I thought it would just play an animation. Okay. Well, why not wait? You forgot OK Games exist. Yeah, K2 Savage Mountain certainly has uh, gameplay. It definitely has gameplay in it. Oh yeah, welcome to Waiting the Stage. Yeah, it red light, green light. So in a sense, you are correct, yes. They are there to be annoying. <laughs> because if you thought I had to wait quite a bit on the previous screen, because, you know, there were fruit falling down and I had to make sure I was in a good spot, this one very much makes you wait. Like, any sort of semi-reasonable cycle? Well, I guess you're gonna have to be sure then. You don't wanna have to rush, because then you're gonna have to stop moving. Hey, I jumped this time, let's go. Oh, that's another death ruled out because I didn't accidentally not jump at the end of 87, so that's cool. Like, you can, you can see I could go further. It's just that the timing is semi-random for when it changes from yellow to red. 
there are certain things like here, for example, you're just going to have to wait. Because otherwise you are going to have to stop moving in the middle of all of this and, you know... Why did that last so long? Oh yeah. Any movement? No, and falling's fine, it's just button presses. Technically, you can actually hold the direction, so if it went red there, if it went red while I'm holding left, it's fine. It's just a trap room, it doesn't kill you. It does auto save you in the trap room, obviously. <laughs> There's just a little bit of extra needle. So technically, you could play Impossible and do every trap room, because it's a separate trap room per screen. Which is actually pretty cool. Play an extra penalty room. I think shooting's okay still, it's just moving. But yeah, with the way this gimmick works, if you're already holding the button when it turns red, you can hold the button down still. Oh, always worried about that jump. Dude, it lasted so much longer, and I took it risky there as well. Yeah, it means if you're holding the side down, it doesn't detect whether you're already holding it. It only detects if you press it. So if I was already along this row, for example, and holding left, I'd be able to carry on left all the way. Okay. That block always worries me, for good reason. Yeah, they're fast sometimes. I'm pretty sure you can shoot while the red light's on, but you know. I don't really want to risk it. Yay, okay, there we go. I'm pretty sure you can like shoot while the red light's there, but yeah, like you don't exactly want to take the risk if you're doing a good attempt. Really hope I don't die here this time, because I actually kind of like this song. Ooh. Gary. Oh, that is a shame. That's a shame. Ha! <laughs> Thank you, Walls. Someone could just type exclamation mark medley in the, the chat. That would be great, thanks. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Sanctus. You are today's lucky winner. Because someone always feels the need. Oh, no, that seems like a big bit of a dick move. Well, if you speedrun Destination, you'll feel the same. Oh, he didn't do it for 10 minutes. Interesting. I'm pretty sure last time I did it for 10 minutes from the guy that said it. I was going to do a full-on timeout, so... <laughs> Congratulations, somebody else beat me to it. For your benefit. I'm surprised these aren't diagonals. <laughs> really? I've never heard so much of this song play in my life. <laughs> so ready to snipe a comment, nice. Okay, first try on the hard jump, wow. Door. Oof, always scary on that one. It's not offensive, it's just... I've seen it too much. You know? I also haven't posted the command that frequently, despite having it up for goddamn eternity. Okay, so for the record, this attempt is going far better than it should be. <laughs> and like, 
I genuinely thought I'd die at least once before this point, so now I'm getting nervous. <laughs> It's only meant to be under five for the record. Yeah, somehow no deaths. Well, not a hundred floors yet. Technically, it's only been 99. This is the hundredth floor to clear. Oh. You just take this boss slow. This is how this works. Yeah, that was the end of the attack and I knew it. Funnily enough, boss two, uh, final boss of Conquer the Blow Game 2 was actually a bit of a problem, so we'll see how that goes. You just have to play this boss tremendously slow. It kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Yeah, same boss. <laughs> it's like, hey, you know these bosses you just beat? You know. A moment ago? You wanna do them again? Hey. <laughs> no. No, if this is Conquer the Blow Game 4, that would be kinda cool, but like. Not. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. That's fine. It's so easy to not get a second hit. Hey. Ah. Yeah, you basically only get damage on the other attack. That's just how it works. That was on me, honestly. I could have gone for that one, actually, but... Hey, he's done it! Never has a diagonal be more scary. Or that jump. Two floors are terrifying. <sighs> yeah. I highlight this, I'm saying it's still like Conquer the Blow Game 3 in under 5 deaths because it's not impossible mode. So. <laughs> See if people can guess how many deaths it was. Da, 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 da. I mean, I always said I don't want to beat Conquer the Blow Game on impossible. And there's still a big difference between doing it deathless and doing it on impossible. I still don't plan on doing it on impossible. Because it's scary as hell. And like, you have to do a 16 pixel gate thing at the end. Like, dude, it's so hard. Alright, well, we got nothing near me. Cool. That was <laughs> too early. I didn't get stuck in the floor on this run, actually, so that's good. I think. Wait, no, is this the run that got stuck in the floor? Maybe it was. So technically this couldn't have been done on Impossible, in that sense. 
Oops. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I like I fell down and the instant I fell I realized, oh yeah, I've screwed up, haven't I? Yeah, so I guess this technically got stuck on 415. At the end, all of them sanked us. All of them. So yeah, that was Conquer the Blow Game 2, bo uh, Bon Boss 2. This is Conquer the Blow Game 2, no, 1 Boss 3? Yeah, I think this is Conquer the Blow Game 1 Boss 3. So, all of them. Jeez, these orange saves are really spawning low for some reason. I can't remember if this is Boss 2 or Boss 3. Yoka said something about these cars, like, didn't get player killer. I don't know if that's in this game or Conquer the other Conquer the Blow game. I'm assuming he meant here. However, I've not found that out and I'm not willing to test it, so... I am fine with not checking that fact. I'll just trust him on that. Can't tell if these guys got more health. Yeah, it's like the floor 25 bosses, the floor 50, 50, 75, and then 100. This one's actually kind of a problem for me because I can't shoot him for crap. So I will be taking it slower this time, that's for sure. Seriously, I'm so bad at shooting this guy. I really should be further to the left, actually, I'm gonna do this. And then boss 2, the final boss of Conquer the Blow Game 2 has straight up killed my runs twice, three times maybe? So that can be a problem as well. The last attack on this boss is going to be the scary one, but like... I'm not good at this boss, so... I will be playing it ultra safe. Hey, I got three hits. Nice, let's go. Yeah, because of this attack. Because this one's kind of easy to mess up, so... And boy did I die to it a lot when I was playing this for the first time. This boss was really hard for me when I first played this game. But like, this game was also one of the first games I ever played, so you know, that kind of makes sense. Yeah, that boss is very easy to screw up if you try going fast on it. Speaking of easy to screw up... This guy's RNG can be butt sometimes. Specifically on the big bullets when he's on the floor. Yeah, this attack. I got some really crazy RNG when I was dealing with it last time. Or like, uh, uh, in Conquer Blow Game 2. And this pattern is scary on the right side, as you can see. Oh. Like that pattern is actually like kind of scary on the left on, when you have to be on the right and he's on the left. And then it's perfectly fine on the other side, which is of course why he's deciding to leave that spot alone right now. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, you can see why this boss could be a bit scary. That was a bit early. Dude. <laughs> and he has quite a bit of health. Okay, that was actually pretty alright. <sighs> hey, do you remember these guys? Do you remember these bosses? Do you remember these bosses from before? Do you remember when I nearly died to this guy? <laughs> I remember when I nearly died to this guy. Good times. More unicorn? Oh, don't worry about it. It'll be fine. It will be perfectly a-okay. I can assure you.
And now the easier attack of the two, because it's less likely things come towards you. No, 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 this, this has checkpoints. Every boss auto saves you. Every boss auto saves you here. Like, I could restart and I'll start on this floor. On impossible, obviously, it wouldn't, but I'm not playing on impossible. But the reason this game is hard on impossible is because it's got all of this. So, you know. I'm gonna be very sad if I die on this one, but I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, no, Conquer the Blow game's not a hard game. That drop's always one that worries me. Not even joking. But like, that's one of the scarier points of this screen. The other being, like, this ending, because it's just easy for me to mess it up for whatever reason. On, like, the bottom row. Alright, and now we play things ultra slow again. Yeah, the Conquer the Glow game series aren't meant to be a hard game to beat. It's meant to be a hard game to beat without dying. This series is supposed to be played on Impossible, that's what it was created for. Man, this RNG ain't great. That's why the 100 floor games in Fan Game Dungeon were called Blow Games. Of course, right as I go up. <laughs> you do see Verb, yes! Welcome! He returns! Actually kind of scary RNG there. I just want a second shot, please, thank you. Technically, I could have gone for an extra shot there, but I don't trust it on this attack, so I'm just not going to go for it. You can see why. I guess probably won't get a second hit, just because I was... I did! Neat. Okay. I was really slow on the first hit there. Thank you. Yeah, I knew that was too early. RNG? Hey, we actually gotta do damage. Let's go. Well, pulling that other one's badly, so never mind. Chinese spark is something special. Yeah. Did you play it on hard, by the way, Wosk? I think you just did medium, but there were still secrets there that you could get. I can't remember exactly how it worked. Nah. Like I said, you play this slow. That's the point. Hey, good RNG. Thank you. Point high just to let me jump more. Oh wait! I got all the time in the world, buddy! <laughs> if you could just do an attack that would let me jump and shoot you, that would be great! Okay! One and two, by the way! <laughs> he has two choices of attacks, and right now, boy, is this some RNG! At least the dodges aren't hard now, like at the start, so that's cool. Glad I spoke too soon there. <laughs> I could not tell what the best option was, but I did not want to be up in case he did this again. Well, I got one hit. There we go. 
We've done... Oh my god, he's still got more. And he's not giving me the chances. <laughs> How does he keep doing this? Bro! My friend! For every targeted attack you do, you do two of these. What the hell? <laughs> Man, my odds on that were terrible! <laughs> See, I told you the unicorn would be fine. It's fine! Exclamation mark goal lemon, that's what the bounty is. Thank you, boss. <laughs> I love how much this guy spins, I'll never get tired of it. I really won't. Oh, he goes faster, huh? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I didn't realize he moves faster as well. I thought he just spun faster. But fair enough. I really couldn't get a second hit in there, huh? Interesting. Like, I thought there was a reason I didn't go left sooner, but I couldn't remember what it was. Never has a spinning unicorn been so terrifying. Oh, right, it's because he's spinning faster, he's going faster, so you don't want to be that close. Actually, a little scary there. expected to accomplish that today, but you know what? That's kind of cool. <laughs> Woo! If that isn't under five deaths, I don't know what is. <laughs> Technically impossible mode clear. Wow. This definitely isn't strictly impossible mode clear because I got the the soft lock on floor 16 so I get stuck in the I get stuck in the top of the ceiling so I did have to restart once however nobody counts that as a death so <laughs> think I can go lower <laughs> yeah next step is the negative one death count all right wasn't expecting to accomplish that today. Cool. <laughs> I genuinely didn't actually know if I could do this one. I genuinely didn't know if I could do this game on Impossible with no deaths. Yeah! Oh, because like the last five floors are really scary. <laughs> And like, it's the gate 16 pixel, dude! It's got the, the thing from I Wanna Be The Guy, but it's harder. <sighs> Didn't think I could add that to the clear list. Alright! Oh, today's a good day! <laughs> GG!